Hey guys, welcome to my channel Avi's Data Revolution. So as a part of the ongoing Hive playlist, today I'll be discussing about the case statements and implementing of if conditions in Hive, like more of the operator sessions, like using case statements and operators in Hive. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Let me minimize this and let's start. So already I have connected to my, uh, like the big data lab. So you guys can see. So let me connect to the Hive now okay okay guys just to give you a heads up so i'll be starting up with the linux session as well so i will be uploading my videos on the linux uh, like uh, parallelly with this hive so that's a small info i need to provide you guys so let's start with the case statement first okay let me connect to my database first show databases like vbunty okay yeah okay great let me now use this database okay i'm connected to the database now let me use the case statement okay in order to check so i have my table as a part of the earlier video i've created i have shown you the table right uh the like the video on the joints right so let me show this the same use the same table for uh, the case statement implementation okay so let's just check this i have my name department uh, sorry department id and this is the salary okay let me in order to check what is the columns if you see okay i have name salary and department id name salary department id okay so for example now let us establish a case statement like i need to print name and salary and i need to see if the salary is high i'm like more than something like establishing a case statement if it's more than five thousand yeah, if it's five thousand i will say okay the salary is over oh, five thousand if it's seven thousand i will recommend it as if it's more than five thousand then everything whatever is more than 5000 it's high and whatever is less than 5000 is low so let's establish a case statement right like select name comma salary then this is the syntax see case when okay when salary greater than 5000 then term it as high salary okay then again say when salary less than 5000 then term it as less salary else whatever is like else no not else let's give another condition when salary greater than equals to 10,000 okay so these are the operators you can see then very high very high salary okay else else any statement you can provide like not applicable no let give salary does not exist salary does not exist okay from employees employee our table name okay let's execute this okay there is some sorry i miss one part now i have given else part i need to end it as end as uh, salary category I need to give the field name as salary salary category okay let's see okay so you guys can see okay why it shows salary does not exist what i have given 
it should not be saying okay get it then equals to when salary greater than 5000 then high salary okay i think there is a contradiction my bad let me change a few things okay let me change a few things here i know what is the issue so i have to mention here greater than equals to okay so you can see i have mentioned greater than equals to 5000 then high salary salary less than 5000 whichever was, was 2000 was mentioned as less salary okay greater than greater than equals to 10000 since it first followed this condition so already it was satisfied high salary so it didn't went to this condition at all so in order to check this kind of issue what i can mention is like i can provide an and condition in between right so i will be providing one and condition okay so just salary greater than equal to 5000 and salary less than equal to less than 10,000 okay now let's see so you got it now it satisfies very high salary so guys hope it's clear let me just copy paste this and put it here so that you guys can understand so I have selected case when salary let me just format it in order to so that you guys can understand okay so now see what I have given I am just selecting a query which is asking for name salary and then the case statement like when salary greater than equals to 5000 and salary less than 10,000 then recommend it as high salary like it's the salary category when salary less than 5000 then determine as less salary when salary is greater than equals to 10,000 then very high salary else if the salary data is not present just represent salary does not exist end as salary category so let us insert one record having no salary so, okay so what i will do is insert into employee value values is uh, see let's give a norm Potter Potter comma and let me give uh, the department ID as five okay let me insert this data my bad my bad my bad okay let it execute okay now let's see select star from employee okay you can see we have null right no salary now let me execute the same this and let me see what result I get so you can see since it's null it's showing me salary does not exist because none of the criteria has been satisfied so it executes the else part so guys here we have learned the implementation of case statement along with the operators and the identifies like and between so you guys can play around with this okay now I'm going to showcase one small thing like implementation of if statement so let's first check how to implement if describe function extended if 
okay so what it says if expression 1 2 3 if expression 1 is true for example and expression 1 not equals to 0 and expression 1 not equals to null then returns expression 2 otherwise it returns expression 3 okay so what is this here you provide your condition this is like for true and this is false like the else part so if let me select select if salary greater than 5000 let me put it this way name comma salary comma 5000 okay not you can put greater than but for you for now demo purpose i'm showing as equal to if salary equals to 5000 print good Con let me put condition one else condition two okay as what is the column name you need to provide some abcd some alias you need to put from employee okay now let's see what's the result so you can see what i have given is salary equals to 5000 right condition one so you can see condition one for 5000 or else condition two so you can see since it's not 5000 to its condition two okay so guys i hope this is pretty much clear for you so you can see two five thousands are there so we have two condition ones and rest all is condition two so in this way you can either use case statement or use if statement based on your choice and based on the business requirement and also it is on the complexity of the problem you are dealing with you are open for any choices so that's all guys hope you like this video thank you have a nice day ahead bye bye